Hello, my friend. This is Alexander. Uh, in fact, I have just received a dispute case from you saying that our pump cannot reach the flow rate it has labeled. So now I have to do a same test at horizontal level flow of the same pump model, DC30A 1230 model. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I will use this weighing instrument to weigh the weight. Yeah. And uh, I will use this. I will use this bucket to catch the water. Uh, I will I will pump later a little later. First of all, I will weigh the the weight of the bucket in advance. Okay. So. I will put the bucket on the weighing instrument and now we can see that it now it's 435 grams, right? 433, uh, 35 grams. Okay, I will get the bucket to the WC for testing water. Okay, first of all, I will show you the pump model. This one. DC 30A1230 model. It's the same model you have purchased from our company. Okay, of course, just the, the cable is a little different. Then, I will show you our power adapter. This is the power supply I will use to pump the power the pump. It's treated output voltage is 12 watts, right? 12 watts, capacity 3.0 amps. Okay, I will then use this, the same pump motor to pump water into this bucket and I will use my smartphone, iPhone 5S to calculate the time, okay? First of all, I will connect the power supply with the pump but I don't uh, don't put this tube into this bucket because I haven't calculated now yeah uh, so I will use my iPhone to 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 set a one minute time and then I will test okay now I will click start button and then and uh, meanwhile I will locate this tube this tube into the bucket to test the flow rate okay start It's almost the same level, yeah. Okay, zero. So now pumping has finished. I will weigh the weight of the water, a bucket of water, to test the flow rate for one minute. I will use the same weighing instrument I have used right now. And now I will weigh the total weight of a bucket of water. Now we can see the weight becomes 400 and uh, 4,145 grams. Uh, in fact, as I have just uh, uh, operated, there is some loss of the water because the, the tube has just uh, spread out. Yeah. 
So, if we four thousand one hundred and forty five, then four four hundred and thirty five, then the real flow rate of this pump is about three point five eight liters per minute, right? Three point eight, yeah, grams liters, the same. So, uh. As we have labeled on the product itself, we label it as 4.4 liters per minute. Taking into consideration that parameter deviation of within positive, negative, 10 percent is quite normal. Is quite normal when output back, back output. So our pump product is matching the labeled value, 4 liters per minute. Also, I have to mention that in, if users test it at a certain height, certain height, you know, the height becomes higher, then the flow rate becomes lower, decreases. Uh, that's why you can only get 2 liters per minute at a certain height. So, my friend, I do sincerely advise that you have some retest at horizontal level, the same level between the pump and the destination. Then you can test it for one minute and you can calculate its real flow rate. And I guess you can get the, the, the exact value. Bye bye.